You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on A Silent Voice. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Today's anime review, we get to cover an anime movie from 2016, which is probably for today's anime review, is A Silent Voice. A Silent Voice is a 2016 Japanese anime film produced by Kyoto Animation, which is known for their work on Melancholy, Haruhi, Suzumiya, Clanad, Violent Evergarden, Kaon, as well as uh, many of works, including, they're also known for their work on Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Forgot to mention that one as well. Directed by Naoko Yamada and written by Reiko Yoshida, featuring character designs by Fatoshi Nishimaya, and the music was done by Ken Kensuke Ushio. It is based on the manga of the same name, written and illustrated by Yoshitoki Oima. The film was premiered in Japan on September 17, 2016, and worldwide between February and June 2017. So let's review this anime movie. Let's begin. Japanese high school student Shoya Ishida intends to die by suicide, changing his mind in the last minute. He recalls his days in elementary school and the events ha that have led them here. A new student named Shoko Nishima informs the class that she is a is deaf, and she tries to interrogate with the class, but ends up annoying Shoya and his friends, and so they start to bully her. When word of the bullying reaches the principal, Shoya is singled out as the culprit of, by his teacher. Soon, the class's bullying is directed toward him. Shoya blames Shoko, and the two get into a physical altercation. She is subsequently transferred to another school. He later finds Shoko's notebook, which she left behind, and keeps it in middle school. Shoya's reputation of being Shoko's bully led him to become an outcast. Now in high school, he has fallen to a depression. He blocks out the faces of those around him. Unable to look them in the eye, Tomohiro Nagatsuka, another loner, befriends Shoya after Shoya helps him with a bully. Shoya visits the sign language center and returns Shoko's notebook in ho the hopes of making amends, revealing that he has learned sign language. The two begin meeting at a bridge to feed bread to koi fish. One day, Shoya and Shoko accidentally drop Shoko's notebook into a river, and they jump in to retrieve it, which is prohibited. Yuzuru, Shoko's younger sister, took photos of Shoya jumping in and posts online to get revenge on him. Which is very stupid for that. Eventually leading to Shoya being suspended. Shoya finds Yuzuru who ran away from home begin and brings her to stay at his house. When she leaves in the middle of the night, Shoya follows and they make amends. Shoya and Shoka reunite with Miyoko Shara, a classmate from elementary school who is friendly to Shoko. Shoko gives Shoya a gift and confesses her feelings for him. But because she tries to speak her affections rather than signing them out, Shoya mishears her. Shoya invites Shoko to an amusement park with Tomohiro, Miyoko, Miki Kawaii, another classmate from elementary school, and Satoshi Mashiba, Mika, Miki's friend. There, they made another classmate from elementary school by the name Naoka Ueno, who drags Shoko into a Ferris wheel. Naoka voices her feelings of hatred for Shoko, blaming her for creating a rift between her and Shoya whom she is infuriated with as well. You guessed it. Yuzuru, who had been secretly recording the encounter, shows the vi showing the video of this to Shoya, desperate to remain blameless for her part in bullying Shoko. Following the leak, Miki exposing Sh Shoko Shoya's past to the students, who were obviously to it, Later, she attempts to apologize the group, but Shoya blows everyone off after Naoka remains dismissive. Shoya learns that Shoko and Yuzuru's grandmother has died recently as well to cheer them up. 
Shoya takes them to the countryside and sees that Shoko blames herself for everything that has happened to him. Shoya decides to devote his entire social life to the sisters. During a fireworks festival, Shoko goes home under the guise of finishing homework. Shoya follows when Yuzuru asks him to get her camera. When he arrives, he finds Shoko standing on the balcony about to commit suicide. Shoya succeeds in grabbing her and pulls her back up, but falls into the river below. He is rescued by his best friends in the elementary school, but slips into a coma. Hoping to help Shoya, Shoko meets with each of the group members to explain her and Shoya's situations, especially what is going on as well. One night... Shoko dreams about receiving a farewell visit from Shoya. Horrified, she runs to the bridge and collapses in tears. Shoya awakens from his coma, stumbles to the bridge, and finds her there. He apologizes for the way he treated her, asking her to stop blaming herself, and admits that while he wants considering ending his own life, he has since decided against it. Shoya then asks her to help him continue to live. When Shoya goes to the school festival with Shoko, he finds out how much his new friends still care for him, and they reconcile. During the festival, Shoya is finally able to look at the other people's faces again. He looks around at his family and all the new friends has, he has made, and cries. So that's my review on particularly the anime movie A Silent Voice. The anime adaptation of the manga, however, was announced in the manga's final chapter that released on November 19, 2014, later specifying that the adaptation be an well, anime theatrical film on December 17, 2014. In the weekly Shonen Magazine's 46th issue of the 2015 that released on October 14, 2015, Kyoto Animation and Naoko Yamada were announced to be the animation studio and the director of the film adaptation, re respectively. The film's distributor, Shochiku Company, which is known for the card capture Sakura movies, as well as for many other kind of movies, what Shochiku F Fuji is known for in general, because that'll stand the test of time, because every movie was made, released by, distributed to Shochiku Films for the satisfactory results for this particular anime movie, like A Silent Voice as well. Late, listed the ad adaptation releasing in Q Q4 2016. On April 8, 2016, the film was adaptation's official website opened, announcing that Reiko Yoshida would write the script for the film. Futoshi Nishiya would design the characters, and the film was scheduled for the release in Japanese theaters on September 17, 2016 as well. Kenisuke Ushio and Pony Canyon composed and produced the music, respectively. The film's theme song, titled Koi wa Shita no wa, was performed by Ai Aiko, while My Generation by The Who was used during the opening credit. It's surprising that this anime movie has got a classic rock song, um, which is called My Generation by The Who, which is from particularly their from their debut album from the who's debut album my generation is particularly used for an anime movie like a silent voice i mean you would expect hearing it in an anime movie as well for the it's not like how you expect hearing red hot chili peppers song on donnie california in a live action death note movie but anyways for the english dub Deaf actress Lexi Cowden was cast as Shoko. The film was really premiered on, in 120 theaters across Japan on September 17, 2016. It was screened at the 2016 Scotland Loves Animation Festival on October 22, 2016, and at the A ICA in London on February 4 5, 2017. Anime Limited distributed and released the film in the United Kingdom and Ireland on March 15, 2017. Purple Plan released the film in Singapore and Malaysia on March 9, 2017. Yeah. Madman Entertainment released the film for a limited duration in Australia and New Zealand from April 9, 2017 and April 16, 2017, respectively. Viz Media Europe acquired the film for the distribution in Europe exclusively. 
including the in Ireland and the United Kingdom as well. Russia, Turkey, and French-speaking Africa in 2017 as well. In 2017, Konnichiwa Film Festival released the film, the movie in theaters in Mexico, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, and P Peru for a limited time in May, while in other countries like Argentina and Uruguay, Anifest had a theatrical release in June. Pioneer Films released the movie in the Philippines on May 10th, 2017. Eleven Arts screened the film at the Anime Expo on July 3rd, 2017, with a limited theatrical release in the United States of America on October 20th, 2017, and a second screening in January 2019 for this particular anime movie like um, A Silent Voice. The film opened at number two at the Japanese box office behind Makoto Shinkai's Your Name, grossed a total of... 283.1 billion uh, million yen from 200,000 admissions within two days of its premiere across 120 theaters. As of November 30th, 2016, the film has grossed a total of over 2.2 billion yen from 1.7 million admissions. It ranked at, num at number 16th at Nike Nikeki Ha hit ranking from 2016 from East Division. It was released at the 19th highest grossing film in Japan in 2016 and also the 10th highest grossing Japanese film of the year in the country, which is tied with Death Note and Light Up the New World, with 2.3 million uh, yen as it was to 19.56 million US dollars for this particular anime movie as well. The critical reception problems, however. Makoto Shinkai, director of Your Name, called the film a fantastic piece of work and polished a grand, produ and grand production, which he is unable to replicate. It won Best Animation of the Year in 2016 Japanese, Japanese mo Japan Movie Critics Awards, where director Naoko Yamada has also received praise from her for her work on the film. At the 2017 NSC International Animated Film Festival, the film was selected as one of the nine feature nine feature films in competition for this particular anime movie, like A Silent Voice. And this will create about because I noticed that this anime, I mean, what I think about this movie, I think is a wonderful movie. I really loved it. But I think bullying someone, bullying someone who is deaf in the anime movie, a silent voice, is particularly bull wrong, and it's very disrespectful. How something what is going on in this movie? And yes, this anime movie, a silent voice, was definitely based on the manga. However, the manga only has like seven volumes from August seventh, twenty thirteen, to November nineteenth, twenty fourteen which is particularly adapted from its original manga as well, for how this anime movie was released in Japan on September 17, 2016, for this particular anime. And yeah, because this anime movie was made by Kyoto Animation, because I had to do an anime review for the first time on a silent voice. Besides, I have reviewed a lot... A lot of my previous anime reviews in the past, but my anime review on A Silent Voice definitely takes the cake. So that's going to be it for my anime review on A Silent Voice for today's anime review. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on this. When I first watched it, I really loved this movie. I find this anime movie a piece of wor uh, a work of art for this particular movie, which is made by Kyoto Animation and Shochiku Films particularly. This particularly has done, become the highest grossing film in Japan, as it was for this particular movie, which is particularly released from Japan. Because, hope oh, subscribe for content on my anime plan, link in the description down below. You can share this video on our Twitter, Facebook, we have Twitter, Facebook account, and all social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. This video. Feel free to leave in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to get, you know, if you're on my channel, be sure to get notified. Keep it otaku for this anime review, and I got another anime review coming up next. Stay tuned for my next anime review. I got another anime series for tomorrow's anime review on Yuri on Ice. Stay tuned for my next anime review on Yuri on Ice, because you won't want to miss another anime review here.